Welcome to DozoChem. This video covers electron configurations of ions involving s and p orbitals. Let's start looking at anions which have a negative charge. What you're going to want to do is start by writing the neutral configuration for the atom and then if it's got a negative charge you're going to add electrons. So for the example sulfur s um, you start with any 3s2 3p4 and that's the configuration of neutral sulfur. If you want to make it S2 minus, that means there's two extra electrons. So we're just going to write the same configuration we had before, but change the ending from 4 to a 6 to show the extra electrons. Uh, remember that the electrons inside the noble gas core or inside the brackets are non-valence electrons, and all S and P electrons outside the brackets are valence electrons. So if we want to now do cations, which have a positive charge, you're going to do the same thing you did before. Start with the neutral atom, and then start removing as many electrons as necessary in this order. First, you're going to remove the valence p electrons, and then if you need to remove more than that, then you would start removing the valence s. So this example, we have silicon, Si, starts out any 3s2, 3p2. If I then want to make it 2 plus, that means I have to remove two electrons. So I have to choose which electrons to remove. And up here we said remove the valence P first. So you're going to get rid of these two first. So that would leave you any 3s2. If you then want to make it 4 plus, you got to remove two more. And at that point you can remove the 3s as well. So you end up with Si4 plus being just any in brackets. Let's do a couple of examples. Write the shorthand electron configuration for N and N3 minus. So N has seven electrons. So here's the shorthand electron configuration for N. And then N3 minus, negative charge, so we're going to add three electrons. So we just take what we wrote before and change the ending from a 3 to a 6. So now it ends in 2P6 instead of 2P3. And then down below, write the shorthand electron configuration for AL neutral. Al plus and Al3 plus. So aluminum has 13 electrons. Here's the neutral aluminum atoms configuration. Then it says Al plus. So we got to remove an electron and we have to decide should we remove the 3s or the 3p. So you remember from the previous slide, remove the valence electron, p electrons first. So get rid of the 3p, one of those, and that'll give you Al plus. Um, so Al plus is 3s2. Uh, then if I want to make it 3 plus, I need to remove two more electrons to make it 3 plus. So at that point, you can get rid of the valence s electron. So Al3 plus ends up being Ne in brackets. So that's it for this video. Good luck.